Okay, so I'm quickly going to share something with you right now. While playing with GIMP, I found a tool which I think you'll like. So quick selection tool in Photoshop where you basically select an object, take it away from the background. I think I might have found a similar thing. So right now in GIMP, fuzzy select tool, I selected. And then I went to my picture and then I used these options along the top here. So it says mode. The first one is replace the current selection add to current selection so i have that selected the radius when i don't have anti-aliasing i don't have that ticked i've got feather edges ticked but there's a radius involved in that so i can increase or decrease the radius to show how much feathering takes place so let me just show you what i mean and then i've got threshold so when you select an object similar to like that gimp one but let me see if this will work let me do a let's do select invert and let's clear the selection edit and clear so these well hmm so there it's better than what i used before but it's still not great so let's, un let's undo that but i think that was a good option because there's a bit in there about radius which i liked but then i'm sure there's something here about edit file select feather shrink let's try shrink and let's shrink it by four did that work that didn't do anything did it so i'm basically trying to find that menu where you the refine menu so when you make a selection you can refine edge in photoshop that's what i'm basically looking for here grow and shrink sharpen feather shrink i think it was shrink let's go bigger let's go like 30 pixels continue selected areas continue that's the image okay oh okay so instead of shrinking it's gone the opposite way because i've inverted the selection let's do select invert so i'm selecting my image right click select shrink 30 or it should does it have to be minus oh okay so it was that instead of 30 let's do a different number so select this is something you're gonna have to play with you'll figure out what the best number is for your type of works so if i do 15 yes so that's got closer to me but then if i use that tool there you can see i can click and add to my selection to make it bigger again and when it's a wrong one you press ctrl and it minuses it i'm using a threshold of 39 there so i'm thinking this is equivalent to the quick selection tool in photoshop because that gets me closer to where i want to be but not fully so see that it's like normally where you okay let me see if that would work so if i do edit cut and let's oh yeah okay so how much of that do i need on my background let's paste that back deselect mm, see it's better result in some bits but not all of it so the moral of the story is let me practice with this and i'll come back to you because i think i can make when i find the good tool because you'll see here there is not too bad on my shoulder but the problem is where the glasses obviously you see in the background and there it's gone a bit smudgy but okay so there is a potential here of having a quick select tool similar to photoshop but i need to play with this so i'll give you another upload in a short period of time once i've played with this and see if we can make this better